out on this wonderful, scorching hot summer day to sit with us in the air conditioning and enjoy some uh, fun open mic. So um, I'm Laura. I'm with the Pen to Paper Creative Writing Competition. We uh, seek entries of fiction, nonfiction, poetry, and comics that have something to do with the topic of disability. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, come talk to me. And with me as always April. is April Sullivan with VSA Texas. Um, uh, we are a state organization on arts and disability. And we host this open mic with CTD, Pick a Paper, and Malvern Books, who hosts Yay, us here Malvern every month. Books. Hey, no, we're so, so you guys signed up with a sign-up sheet and everybody looks like they did not check the no consent box. So that means that yeah. we'll be videotaping you and taking still photos that will be up on Malvern Books blog and Facebook. And then we have this reporter down here. We have a special guest here, Thor. Do you have a with your I'm with uh, Co-op Radio, and I have a uh, show one hour a week called The Common Thread on Mondays between 2 and 3, and it's on disability rights, culture, and history. And uh, I'm just going to record, and, and uh, if you would like to be aired on the radio, I can do that, or if you just want a copy of it, I can, you know, get you a copy of it also. So if you could just, if you don't want to be aired on the radio when, when you're about to begin, just... Maybe just say so. And I can also just turn it off completely. You just don't want to be recorded at all. All right. Okay, with that, we'll start with our first performer, Amy Litzinger. Did you know you were first, Amy? Okay. Oh, yes. She doesn't know. Now you are. So this one is called Mouthy Privilege. I have mouthy privilege. I can complain about many things without being worried. I can say whatever I want without being in much real danger. I can write about making change without actually being the one to make it. I am safe behind my computer screen. I do have my own problems, but most of the time when I use my voice, I'm not contradicted or threatened. I am a cisgender white millennial woman in a post-ADA world, and so when people do disagree with me, I'm just accused of being mouthy with my advocacy. When I'm mouthing off about accessible sidewalks, most of the time I don't have to worry about who sees me there, or who I'm with, whether we were seen or what we were doing. But if I were almost anyone else, it wouldn't be safe for me to do what I do and say what I say. Being mouthy and mouthing off to a broken system is in and of itself a privilege. So I should put my money where my mouth is and more wise mouth in mouthing off. But it's bigger than that. I also have mouth privilege. My mouth tell, does what I tell it to do. It is useful. I can communicate verbally. I can chew and swallow. I can give people a tongue lashing. I can share meals. I can talk over a cup of coffee. I can use my mouth to operate technology. I can be understood. Most of the people I know like me do not have all these options. Only 15% of people with my disability do not have issues with chewing, swallowing, or talking, or choking. I have mouth privilege. This is most likely tied to my ADA privilege and my generational privilege because medical science gave me more oxygen following birth. And of course, it also helps that I speak the predominantly understood language. So most people I meet 
can see or hear me be mouthy and do not have the option to claim they didn't understand me. I acknowledge that my mouth privilege contributes to my mouthy privilege. So I will use my mouthy privilege to talk about mouth privilege and lack thereof. Don't worry, I'm going to continue to be mouthy. I'm just gonna make sure that I stay aware of the systems that allow me to be mouthy in the first place. They're not going to get me to shut my mouth. I need to work on my Spanish skills so I can teach even more people when and where they can be mouthy. I also want to learn ASL. Is that still considered being mouthy? What do y'all think? Hey, Andy. Hey, hey.